I, I also teach Chicano studies here at El Paso Community College, and I, I'm proud of the program, and I love to be able to compart people's history with them. There's so much need there, and uh, we're very concerned uh, with several moves, political moves that have been made in Arizona and now here in Texas. First of all, uh, they passed a bill over there to uh, cut out Chicano studies programs out of the K through 12 system, and uh, many scholars that support the program say it inspires a lot of students to read better and do better academically. And the, and the issue here in Texas was that it looks like the Texas Education Board made some uh, arbitrary decisions to take certain important minority icons out of the uh, textbooks and uh, out of social studies altogether. And given the fact that you earlier said Texas is fast becoming a minority majority uh, state in population, uh, this, uh, I just can't see how the trend could be moving in that direction and what, what could be supporting that. Can you give us some insight into what's going on there? Racism. Mm -hmm. And the, the need of the victor to erase the history of the vanquished. Uh, there was an article in the paper about Egypt. And they are trying to take Hosni Mubarak's name off of every statue and disappear him from any of the last 30 years of Egyptian history. 4,000 years ago, they did it with the pharaohs. One pharaoh would do it to the one before so that that person didn't exist. Uh, this country did it with women. Uh, in 1848, women got together upstate New York and they rewrote the Declaration of Independence to say all men and all women are created equal. This country is a fabric of many people making great contributions. When you ask how could the laws of California have been so dramatically improved in the area of access to justice and equality and workforce conditions. There was a guy named Cesar Chavez with whom many people in El Paso marched in that era. And Absolutely. but for his involvement in history and his tremendous courage in taking on entrenched interests, that change would not have been made. There were Tejanos on the battlefield with, with uh, Houston in San Jacinto. Tejanos being uh, Mexican-Americans who were on the, the Tejano side when Texas was fighting Mexico for independence in 1836. You see their, you see their pictures in the Texas Senate, but you don't see them in the, in, in the books. You don't see them, that their contribution is honored in the, in the history books of Texas. Mm -hmm. And what I believe is, is that until we are ready to acknowledge and honor the history of everyone that's made a contribution, and be honest about how effective they were. Everyone's human. Some are enormously effective and did great work. Others had checkered histories. Certainly a few of our presidents were that way. We're not going to have a history that's accurate and that can be told. And to erase the contributions of Mexican Americans in this state is, to me, a statement of fear. You fear for yourself. You fear that that, that when the story is told that perhaps your own contributions have not been all that they could be. And I just don't think it's a society speaking out of strength. It's a society speaking in a racist way where the contributions of some are told but others are not. And it, should be, it shouldn't be that way. And I wrote many letters appeared before the uh, State Board of Education to say that it was wrong, but it was a tiny majority of very extreme people. Uh, they, they over years got to have a eight vote majority and they just X'd out certain history. Thomas Jefferson was one of them. We want to acknowledge Newt Gingrich, but not Thomas Jefferson. And so you'd say, well, is that really the history of America? I mean, did that happen? They wanted to X out um, uh, Cesar Chavez, but put in um, uh, Ayn Rand, someone like that. And so you'd say, I just I don't I don't think it's an effective way to tell the stories of our society that are the stories of what we represent, which is justice, equality, hope, opportunity. Well said, Senator.